All right, well, welcome. So let's get warmed up. We're going to do some Qigong for the autumn, for the autumn season today. And uh, I did a, a new um, kind of a new sequence recently. Let me get my uh, music going here. And then ready. Okay. Uh, so over the weekend, we went to um, we went to Eastern Oregon to the Bend area. And it's just really beautiful. There was, um, you know, really peak foliage, incredibly bright yellow aspens and red maples and the evergreens there. And so my um, my dear friend, um, Vivian Chow, who's a Tai Chi master and, and one of my teachers, she came to stay with us. And we took a trip there and filmed in front of the waterfalls and in the forest. And the footage is just stunning. She's also a professional photographer and she has really nice cameras. So we were getting really cool footage and got the drone involved. And uh, now it's just a, a massive amount of editing to do to get it out and to share with y'all. But um, I did one video in front of Tumalo Falls, which is a hundred foot waterfall. We hiked down to the bottom right in front of it and um, put a Qigong sequence together. So really excited to share that with you when it comes out. And uh, for now, I'll give you a little sneak peek. So yeah, it's called the Qigong for the fall. And uh, I'll share... A little bit about the theory as well, because the, um, you know, in, in Qigong, there's each of the seasons has relationships to our organs, to our emotions, to all kinds of uh, important aspects of our health. I'm sorry, I teach a senior fitness class earlier today. For my toys away. All right, let's get some music going and we can get warmed up. So if you're ready, you probably know by now, knocking on the door of life, twisting, turning, tapping, open palm, striking the chest, and a light fist, tapping your lower back. Warming yourself up by a little here. Good. Shifting your weight, lifting your back heel, rotating. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Energy flowing through your body, waking everything up. Tapping one of the best ways to get the fluids moving, the lymphatic, the blood, the energy going. And let's do some lung tapping here. You're gonna open your palms, bounce your knees a little bit, tap your lungs and chest. So in traditional Chinese medicine, which is integrated with the roots of Qigong, the fall season is lung season, the metal elements. And think of metal as like this contracting force. The earth turns into metal and it contracts. Things start to get a little colder. Things start to get a little bit tighter, or harder. The, um, the energy goes from like in the summer, even like the trees, you know, they start to draw their energy in. They drop and release the old leaves, the dead leaves. And so this is a time of the year to release things that are no longer serving you, to re regather your resources and your energy and harvest. Tap your rib cage. And so in this philosophy, the lungs and the large intestines have an important relationship too. And so we're gonna be doing movements and exercises for lungs and large intestines. There's something called meridian channels, which are these lines of energy through the body and stretching and exercising these can help with your energy flow too. <clears throat> so warming up this large intestine area, right under the ribs. Nice. And now the lower back, the kidneys. Bend your knees a little bit and tap. Lower back. And then down the back side. Back to your legs. Getting that blood circulation all the way to your feet if you can reach ankles. And then tops of your feet. Up your shins. Knees, thighs, front of the hips and pelvis. 
Hey, on the outside. Down the outside. Outside of your ankles. Inside of your feet. Up the middle. Inner thighs and then low belly. It's called the Dantian, the energy field in the core. They say it's like your battery, your internal battery. Charging and filling with energy here in your core. Good. Warming everything up. Okay, and then circling up the right, down the left. This is the direction your large intestine runs. Nice warmth flowing through your belly here. Good. And then use your fingertips and tap around your collarbones. So there's also a system called the six healing sounds. These are different sounds that kind of carry emotion, that carry energy with them. And the sound for the lungs is the S sound. So you can make a, like a snake or like a air coming out of a tire. Tap this on the exhale, make us and breathe into the chest. Breathe out with the S sounds. Wonderful. Some stimulation to the lung tissue here. All right, and sweep it off. Go through some joint warm ups. Lace your fingers, pin the thumbs on top, go left, right, and then up and down, and then put it together into a circle. As you're standing, you can use horse riding stance. So it's like you're on a little horse, hips are sunken. Knees a little bit out. Shoulders relaxed. Roll, roll those wrists. There's a saying in Qigong, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. So you start off slow, get it smooth, and then you can go fast. Now switch your pinkies and relace the fingers and do the same thing backward. So each wrist is getting a full rotation and a full flexion and extension, getting a full 360 degrees. Nicely done. Give it a shake and release. And now elbows squeeze down and out, stretching the insides of your elbows. And then fingertips open up and out. As you breathe, really fill the lungs nice and deep. One trick to releasing shoulder and neck tension is the horse riding stance. As you put more pressure and power down in your legs, it actually takes the pressure and tension off your upper half. Good. And big step forward with your left leg, hands to the hips. Bow and arrow stance, lunge. And rocking your knee glides with your front toes, your back heels down. That warmth spread through the joints. Okay, and 
then hold there. You can take your hands high as a warrior one stretch. Lifting and lengthening your torso. And slowly release. Switch your feet. Other side, lunge, step forward and gliding. I say the motion is the lotion. As you rotate and you move the joints, it lubricates it. It makes it smoother, clearer. Gliding front to back. Neck and shoulders stay light. And then hold there, reaching up. Deep breath in. The torso lifting up and out of your back. And relaxed and released. Return. Feet wide, toes apart. A little squats down and up. So anytime during class, if this feels too difficult or challenging, it's good to have a chair nearby and you can just sit and rest, take little breaks. Sometimes, especially with squats, you can do it as a sit to stand so you can actually rest between each one. Make sure to modify. Best way to modify is to just take a, a portion of the movement. So if you can't do the full thing, do the first quarter of it or the last half. Find which part of it you can do and try to just do that. You'll get that much benefit too. Hold, bring your palms together. Now glide left to right here, swimming dragon. And then palms press together, moving across the body. And your head turns away from your hands. Rotating. If you get cold hands and feet, that's one of the best things you can do for circulation. And you can get a little stretch with your wrist when you press, the, the fingers kind of press up. You get a wrist stretch on each side, squeezing the blood flow out to the edge. It doesn't have to be locked, but almost. Candle flame, your hands press together and you move like a flickering candle flame. Your arms, neck, back, and shoulders and gliding around. Smooth and steady. Wonderful. And then open, Tiger Claw, sinking down here. And scratch, and sink down, good. Turn, shrug the shoulders and release. All right, so I want to give you a breathing practice. Now this one, there's a lot of up and down movements. So if you get dizzy or if that is uncomfortable for you, you can do this seated or just modified. It's called the breath of joy. And this is a way to open the lungs to release grief and pain and sadness and some of that stress that can get held in your lungs here. You're gonna do a little stretch with your thumb and index as you do this. There's a three part inhale and then a full exhale. So first your hands go forward, inhale. Just a third of the air in, hands go out, inhale. Two thirds of the air in and then overhead. All the air in and then exhale. And just fold over and dump it all out. Again, inhale. Exhale. 
Don't hit anything with your hands. <laughs> okay. So in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Forward. Out. Up. Down. And kind of bend the knees as you fold. So if you're having a hard time, you can do this seated too. Same thing. Gather all the stress and tension in your chest. Move at your own pace. Let it all go. Two more. One more. Okay, and then just pause there. Take a breath. Shrug the shoulders, release. It can be a very stimulating and energizing practice. So if you're sluggish or tired, a great way to energize and warm yourself up. Now I want to do another exercise that's a purging practice. So in Qigong, there's three types of energy flow. Purging, which is kind of letting go. Circulation, which is just moving things around. And then tonifying, which is accumulating. So this purging exercise, you're gonna, is meant to open up and release the lungs as well. Your hands come to armpits. You bounce and you shake like this, bounce and shake. It's like you got water on your fingers and you're flicking the water off. And you're releasing this whole area around your shoulders, chest and lungs. And you don't have to breathe each time, but you could do kind of a short exhale through the nose if you want to add a little layer to this don't hyperventilate though now forward you you actually bounce as you go out so you go down as you go out the bounce going on with this tricky to coordinate right just flick that water over flick that stress off the chest to the side good shoulder workout right <laughs> Shoulders and arms look a little tired. Overhead, and you bounce and you fling up like this. Add that breath of fire if you want, but pretty normally, if that's too many things to put together. And down. And in a moment, you're going to feel a lot of blood and energy flowing into your hands as we. Slow it down and stop. Hands float up, palms open, inhale. And then palms up, exhale. Palms down, fingers kind of spread a little. Palms up, exhale, relax, shoulders sink down. Soaring crane, inhale. Exhale. All that tingling and blood flow now circulating. Okay, now draw the bow and arrow. So you make a fist. And then the one hand makes an L shape. You want to feel a nice stretch along the thumb and index. Pull like you're pulling a bow and arrow and you stretch it out like this. You're right off to the side, kind of facing sideways. Then switch, hands come in. Other side, pull the bow and arrow. This wrist is, is can anywhere from 45 to 90 degrees. But you want a nice stretch along that top of the arm there. Horse riding stance if you can. Relax and switch. And you can do it on your own now. Roll back. The elbow moves away. Chest opens. Switch on your own here. Oh, with strength and vigor.
Imagine this fresh energy now squeezing and circulating through your lungs as you breathe. You can do one breath per movement. Oh, and stretch. One more on each side. Again, your shoulders are probably getting toasty hot here. Can this be done seated if you need a break? Of course. Absolutely. Good, and relax, release. Shrug the shoulders back and down. And give it a little shake. All right, hopefully you're feeling some opening and some spaciousness in your chest and lungs area. Let's get into another fun part of Qigong, which is body vibration. Let's do a little dancing, a little shaking. So it's really quite simple. You just stand and shake your body out. I'll just do about four minutes. Get some drums for you here. Then just stand and mount the screen. Shake your fingers, shake your elbows, shake your shoulders. <clears throat> like we did earlier, you can shake your hands forward or sideways or up or down. Side to side, in and out, move the body out, shake it all loose. Let your spine vibrate, your neck and shoulders. Have some fun with it, shake your hips your belly, your back. Find ways to get into all the nooks and crannies. Every corner of your body, shake it out. It's normal to feel a little silly or self-conscious at first. And that's something you can shake out too. Shake your anxieties out. And enjoy that sense of freedom with your body. Get back to that two-year-old mentality where you have no concern about what you look like. You just enjoy the feeling of your body, freedom of your body. Shake out the judgments of your body. Find what feels good to you. Vibrate all the areas that have gotten disconnected. Feel the warmth spreading. It's okay to even use your hands as you shake and you can tap the body as you shake. Breaking up and releasing blockages, stiffness, stagnation. Try something new, a new pattern. Find a new way to access a new part of your body. Use your creativity or spontaneity. off any resistance, unnecessary tensions you might be carrying around with you. <clears throat> like that oak tree in the fall. Shake all the dead leaves off of your body. Shake the dead twigs off your body. Purge and release what you no longer need. where your body might be a little stuck and give it some extra vibration. Not just shedding the dead leaves, but also shaking the apples out, the acorns, shaking the harvest. 
vibrate and find new energy, new resources. And all the way down. And slow down. And then slowly stop moving. Just stand for a moment here and breathe. Feel all that energy tingling and buzzing and flowing through you. After the vibration, feel that freshness, that vibration, that bubbling, tingling, circulating. Your feet wide, bend the knees and scoop the hands, gathering. Buddha holds up the earth overhead. Exhale, sink back down. One movement per breath. Inhale, gather, feel the lungs open wide. Be done seated if you need a rest. I'll share with you three movements for the metal element. Buddha holds up the earth, the lungs, opening at the top, exhale, emptying at the bottom. Feel that space between thumb and index, gently stretch. And now, soaring crane, your hands open wide, palms out. And then you flip and connect thumb and index into a Kyan Mudra, this thumb position, and you bring them back in. And palms down, open. Feel like the air running between your fingers, like you're soaring on the wind. Turn and exhale. And back together. Moving at your own speed here. If you like to visualize, imagine a pure white light. It's like the purest white cloud flowing through your chest, breathing it in. The color white associated with the metal elements. Draw that pure white light in with each breath. healing the lungs, energizing the cells and the tissue. And now next one, white crane spreads its wings and you're gonna bring one hand up, one hand down in kind of a 45 degree angle. At the top though, it's still kind of a circle. So you're not straightening your elbows. The elbows remain in this kind of circle, this curve, almost like a spiral going up. And then the hand, the foot closest to your lower hand will lift and hover in a 45 degree angle, an empty stance. So it can either be off the ground a little bit if you really want to challenge your balance or just touch the toe lightly or your whole foot can be down, but not very much body weight on it. Now the bottom hand will scoop inside of the top hand and you'll switch sides. Hover the other foot. So from the side view, it looks like this. Bottom hand will scoop close to the chest, spiraling in. White crane spreads its wings. If you're familiar with the Yang style Tai Chi, this is one of the forms 
used in that sequence, the 24 form. There's a little rotation of your torso. You kind of look toward the lower hand side. Once you get the hang of it, practice switching on your own. Don't get too concerned if you mix up your hands or your feet. Those details will come more and more with practice. There's a feeling of energy spiraling around your arms. The bottom hand comes inside and spirals up. White crane spreads its wing. Good one for balance, for leg strength. faced out in a circle, thumbs pointing down. One hand goes up, one hand goes down, and you spread them apart. In a big circle and bring the hands together to a ball. Almost feel that cushion of energy there. And spread, top hand up, bottom hand down. Fill the lungs full at the peak. And exhale as they come back together. Like a big yin-yang symbol. The top spreads out until it becomes the bottom. Bottom spreads out and becomes the top. Yin and Yang are changing places constantly. Like day and night, trading places. Inhale, exhale, trading places. And on your own, once per breath, continue Yin Yang spirals. Cleansing the lungs. Feeling that energy between the palms spread and condense. Circle the arms, palms face inward. Zhang Zhuang, the standing pose, embrace the tree. Tip of your tongue resting on the roof of your mouth, spine the front teeth. As you stand, you sink the hips and you tuck the tailbone just a little so the lower back lengthens. The base of the neck elevates a little, the chin tucks in. This can also be done perched on the edge of a chair if you need a rest. Totally fine. And like the tree draws its energy inward in the fall and the winter. This is an accumulation pose. Draw and accumulate your attention inwards. Qigong is a 
movement practice, but it's also, and perhaps even primarily, an awareness practice. It's not just about copying movements, it's about where you place your attention. These poses are structures that contain your awareness. Imagine your body like a vessel filling up under a faucet. The longer you keep that faucet aligned with you, it fills up more. But if you move the vessel away from the faucet, it won't fill up anymore. So when you're standing in this posture, but your mind is wandering elsewhere, it's like you've moved the vessel away from the faucet. You're no longer accumulating because your mind carries your energy. So in Qigong, they say, where the mind goes, energy flows. If you can keep your mind inside of your body for five minutes straight in this posture, you can fill your vessel tremendously. How do you keep your mind in the body? You have to feel the body, feel the sensation, even the discomfort, even the fatigue is fine. Feel the breath, the sensations. Acknowledge and recognize the boredom or distraction or irritation your mind has of being held in the body and wanting to get out. Soothe and comfort and welcome your mind in. Include your mind. Let your mind note to notice what it feels. I feel prickling in my palms. I feel a pain in my chest. I feel a tension between my shoulder blades. I feel my tongue touching the teeth. Include your mind as a participant in the embodiment practice. And just a few minutes of this, enough to accumulate tremendous energy. Face your palms toward each other and pull and push that space. Now, if your body's not used to it, you can get tight or stiff and it'll pinch off the energy. So if you feel tight or stiff, you can shake off and then twist the hands, rotating them. And then try again, and you might feel more energy now. Pull, push, and play with that sensation there. The chi. Let your body move around freely. Once the energy starts to grow, you can let it flow through your torso, arms, shifting your weight. Begin to improvise freestyle Qigong. Let this movement come naturally. If you're moving through water, you might feel that resistance, that heaviness in the air and around you. If you lose the feeling, come back to the ball and then let it grow from there. Picture that white light, that brilliant white ball of energy now. Once again, press it into a circle in front of the heart. And invite this bright white light into the lungs. Bring your palms to the chest and absorb in with each breath. The 
like you're breathing in a pure white cloud, fresh, nourishing. Imagine the lung tissue cleansing, cleaning, filtering. Let that healing energy soak into all your cells, filling you with vitality. And brush, sweep, and massage, like lotion in your skin, massaging any sore spots, sweeping down. And go ahead and find a comfortable seat. Well, thank you so much for joining today and hopefully you feel a little bit more open your breathing feels a little bit cleaner clearer 